must be gay. Welcome back to the guest guys. We're here with Jack and he's one question away from winning his dream man. Oh yeah. So Jack, are you ready for your question? <laughs> oh yeah baby, give it to me. In the September issue of Glamour this year, who is on the front? Oh, that's easy. It's um... <laughs> Wake up and smell the bacon. Some people think I am gay, but I'm standing here saying no, no way. I think that Enrique is fit. He's fit, but my gosh, don't he know it. So when I looked at you saying that I am not gay, I have a fit girlfriend and I love her every day. Wondering whether to gatekeep my information or tell the world about my non-gay relation. A cynical performance to keep people away, because when I was a boy I was in hospital every day. So I learnt from my surroundings, habitus that's right, I learnt from my surroundings and I ended up just right. As you may have heard, from the age of four I was in hospital every weekend due to problems when I was born. Right up until I was 11, I spent most of my time in Guildford Hospital and even Great Ormond Street. Because of this, I wasn't able to do what the stereotypical boy would do, therefore I spent most of my time with my sisters. I was socialised to act due to my surroundings. So I love painting my nails, dressing up as a princess, and to this day my favourite genre of film is a rom-com. So how can I not be gay, right? Just because I conform to the dominant ideologies of a homosexual doesn't mean I am one. What do you think of Jack Johnston then? Is he a gay, straight or quite a feminine guy? No, Jack, Jack's quite feminine, but he's, he's not gay or anything, he's just, just a bit feminine. I know Jack quite well and I'd say that he's quite feminine, but he's not gay. Camp, camp. As my family grew and grew until I had four sisters, it was obvious I was going to be a girly guy. However, times have changed, and now me at the age of 16, I still act quite girly because I have a low self-esteem, and I feel that I have to act this way because making people laugh keeps me happy. But by acting this way, I'm actually stepping further and further away from my real self. Within my self-presentation, I consciously put on a performance to create an impression. For example, my persona is quite funny, exciting and bubbly, when really I'm quite chilled and would go with the flow. I put on this cynical performance to create this impression. Furthermore, I use selective affiliation to communicate my identity, as I prefer to talk to women than I do men. I find women more comfortable and fun. That's why my guys call me the confident one of the group, because I find it really easy to talk to women. I could go up to any girl and start a conversation, but only because I'm used to talking to them. However, I met somebody about a year ago who really changed the roles I play within my culture. For the first time, I saw a woman as more than just a mate. Hi, I'm Lauren, Jack's girlfriend. And I know people say he's quite a feminine guy, but when you get to know him, you see like why he's quite feminine with his surroundings. But in a way, I, I, that's what I really like about him, because he, he's always there like to have like, a really nice chat with, and he's just, he's so lovely, and he knows how to treat a, a girl, and, knows, and is like, really respectful to them all. Um, that's what I love most about him. Since this year has gone, I've started to act differently. My self-esteem has grown and I've come to accept the fact that I challenge the way a stereotypical male behaves. For example, looking at Dr. Lillian Glass's theory, it's clear that my body language is closer to a woman's than a man's, as I tend to have greater sensitivity towards other people's non-verbal communications. Also my facial expressions, as I tend to smile and nod my head when listening, and furthermore my behaviour. I am more maintenance orientated and have less difficulty in expressing intimate feelings. This is exactly what the stereotypical woman does to help communicate with other people. Our culture assigns traditional roles and qualities to femininity and masculinity. For example, women are said to be more into relationships, caring, emotional, expressive and open to communication, whereas men are said to be strong, tough, competitive, dominant, non-emotive and show-offs. Gay is a label that is used to keep blokes in line. For example, if you don't conform to the stereotypical male, you are gay. Our culture links traditional qualities in men to homosexuality and that's not right. To conclude, I'm not gay.
just feminine. Most guys would see this as a negative, but I see it as a positive because it shaped who I am today and I wouldn't change it for the world. I'm Jack Johnston, the feminine guy. Thanks for watching.